So I am in Chicago currently for the Grid Life slash Offset Kings showcase. And uh, my buddy Dinesh here decided to fly me out. Spirit Airlines. <laughs> and they fucking ran out of airplanes. <laughs> so my flight got delayed for like three hours. <laughs> I don't know how you run out of airplanes, but like it was a pretty interesting flight. <laughs> but I don't know if I want to do it again. But I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I get here, it's raining, cats and dogs. It looks pretty shitty. I was expecting it to be hot, so I only brought shorts. <laughs> I don't think I brought a jacket. <laughs> so far, it's been interesting. I bought a coffee after I got off the plane, and then I spilled half of it. And then, now I'm in traffic. <laughs> so welcome to Chicago. Where are we? What is this place? This is uh, Johnny's Beef. Johnny's Beef? <laughs> it's like a porno. <laughs> How about juicy, huh? Four fries. You get a four fries, big double. And four small ice. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Four small ice, you want covers? Uh, no. No covers. Do you have any four from Metal Yeah, I'm yeah, we saw when you put the covers, you, you lose a lot of the ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get our money's worth. <laughs> you know these Asian guys, they know it's not kind of detail. Yeah. Like, hey, man. Thanks, for, thanks for reinforcing stereotypes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What's that? What is this again? So this is a uh, Italian beef combo, hot peppers, um, with sausage, and then Italian ice, and some fries. We're at Johnny's Beef, and uh, yeah, just a Chicago spot. It's pretty good. Not really healthy though. Why does this and this not make you shit? <laughs> <laughs> does it? It does it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely never move to California <laughs> because you can't have anything nice like this yeah. up there. And you live in a mansion. <laughs> this is just a new class. Yeah. Area. That's what I was telling Max, too. Because we were driving around, I'm like, no, dude. Like, even if you go to Janosh's area, it's just weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure you're try it out every week, actually, yeah. Where's the wife? I think she wanted to get some food or something. She's not here. Yeah, but everything. Because I mean, it's theoretically possible somebody, like the condition that yours is in now, yeah. there could be some baller dude that could yeah. theoretically be like, hey, I'll give you 150 for this. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, think, I don't even think at that point I could still sell it, you know? Because but you'd think about it. I would. <laughs> but even at 150, I bet you wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because I mean, you know that it's just going to keep going yeah. up. Someone, I mean, someone's offering me like 80K from like MSX. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, Oh, I'm so tempted. Yeah. Know? That's pretty. What year is that? It's uh, 2002. I mean, it's not worth it. It's yeah. not worth that. But I mean, the prices have been going up. But yeah, they're going up. But I mean, there's price. enough of them out there yeah. that. But this caller, so they made this in Mola. They only made 49 yeah. of them. Yeah. So anytime an Mola comes for sale, like. Yeah, it just goes. It's jumping. Oh, and like yeah. an NSX yeah. purchase yeah. group. I was like, yo, there's a Mola. It yeah. just popped up on Bloodline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So everybody's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few. That's dude. That's how it's getting. Euro is coming with everything. Yeah. Like. Anything Japanese that's even remotely desirable, it's just ridiculous now. Like especially in California, yeah. You anything low mileage, mm -hmm. like I don't care what kind of car it is. Right. If it's Japanese and it's low mileage, I mean I'm even talking like under a hundred thousand miles. Okay. It's ridiculous now. Really? Like people will be asking, like you'll see a Tercel, yeah, clean, <laughs> okay. but say. 
50, 60,000 miles, yeah. somebody's asking close to 10 grand for it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah. And they'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> which is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's, the Japanese market's just going insane. <laughs> no, but co everything collectible is yeah. going What are you doing here? What's this? Oh, nice. I want to die. I'm in this nice room somewhere in Chicago. Not really sure what this is at because I don't really know the area, but room's nice and chill. Got a big ass bed. The time difference is what really gets me because it's like two hours ahead here, so I don't really know what to do with myself. I can't sleep because I have a really weird sleep schedule, so I guess I'll just stay up and watch TV. Got hungry. Grabbed myself a snack downstairs. I got some sandwiches and chips and shit, so. Gonna kick it here until the event, I guess. Unless I fall asleep. Maybe I'll take a nap. Who knows? See you guys tomorrow.
we haven't been here. The place kind of has a nice flow. You'll, you'll pick it up pretty quick. Um, and if you have any questions or if you feel like you need an instructor, we do have a few floating instructors that we can send with intermediates or even advanced guys if they want to get to know the track better. Um, Luke right here, he's going to be doing the driver's meeting for beginner and instructors. Instructors too, right? That's in the classroom right here. That's got a beard, summer beard. Uh, but basically, exit track over here, you'll exit track over there. Uh, nice, slow speeds in the pad out here. And it's going to be a little bit tight. If, uh, if some of your if it's waving, that means the schedule or the, uh, the session is done. Something happens, something needs to be towed off. Everybody comes in. Red flag. Hopefully we don't see this at all this means. Track stop. There's something going on in the track and you need to come to a safe stop on track. If uh, it's doing that like your car on fire, feel free to slowly creep around and not hit whatever is going on. But uh, hopefully uh, we never see this flag. This flag means just if you have to move, you need to move like five miles an hour. Real, real cautious of what that means. Something bad happens. You got the blue passion flag. See this one? Waiting at you or pointing at you. That means there's somebody approaching you from behind.
Thanks for being a part of the evolution of, of these events. Um, and a big round of applause to these guys for, for coming in. And Thanks everyone for coming out on uh, behalf of GDM Chicago. We appreciate the support. This is the first time we uh, collaborate with Bird Life, so thanks for everyone for making this a uh, successful event. So without any further ado, we're going to start with the awards. And uh, for the first award, we actually this is a new award. It's it's uh, the best couple. So we like to bring out Michelle and Trevor out for to, for the best couple award. Michelle and Trevor right here. It was a very tight race, but these guys uh, beat everyone out. Here you guys go, best couple. Crazy ghost sounds. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is that our first Indian joke for the week? <laughs> okay, go inside. You I'm not trying to say it smells like curry inside. Yeah. Do you have elephants too? <laughs>